about Ajahn, the hearing of Nnamdi Kanon, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, on to May 11. In the tweet, Kanon's lawyer, Alo Ijimako, revealed the Supreme Court's ruling. Sadly, the Supreme Court has adjourned the MNK appeal hearing to next month, he said. During the court session, a five-member panel led by Justice John Okuro granted the request of the federal government to bring before the court new grants of appeal against the release of Glamour. This was after the Provia Financial Status lawyer, Alo Ijimako, sought bail and transfer of his clients from custody of the Department of State Services to the Guji Correctional Facility so as to get proper medical attention. On October 13, 2022, a three-man panel of appellants court led by Justice Juma Anatu, discharged and acquitted the IPO leader after she stated that he had been unlawfully deported to Nigeria. The presiding judge also said the international law was violated as 15 count charges against Kano did not review the date, time or place. But another panel of the same court filed an appeal with the Supreme Court on November 3, 2022, against the Court of Appeals order preventing his release from DSS custody. Kano filed an appeal against the Court of Appeals decision on October 28, 2022, which suspended the execution of his previous judgment, acquitting him of all charges and ordering his release from the secret police detention. Prior to the hearing, Kano's special counsel urged the Supreme Court to ensure justice in the IP leader's trial, emphasizing that his case should be concluded today. Many notable evil leaders and the Oanese in the book have been calling for Inam the Kano's release in the months before President Mohamed Barry's time hands on May 29, 2022. Kano has been facing 15 counts of charges bordering on treasonable felony and terrorism instituted against him at the Federal High Court by the Federal Government. He was rearrested in 2021 in Kenya for inciting public violence through radio and television broadcasts and defending Nigerian's authority through the broadcast.